Sheila Gunn-Reed with the Rebel.media. I'm actually standing outside of the Defend Media Freedom Conference across the street, not because I've been kicked out, but because the conference is over. And as I was walking out of the conference, I thought, hey, you know what? Our Rebel viewers have paid a lot of money to send us to this conference in London, a conference that was co-sponsored by the Canadian government and the UK government. So maybe they would like to actually see what it looks like beyond the security fencing. So I took some footage and maybe we can go through some of it together. So after you go through security, you will see uh, like a wall of shipping containers. And that was a pleasant change for me because normally when I go to conferences, particularly the United Nations climate change conferences, they are built with disposable things, disposable plastic things that go in the garbage afterwards. So, you know, it's kind of nice to know that the shipping containers are something that can be reused. Now, on the shipping containers, they've written these quotes from famous, famous people about freedom of expression and the free press. And one of them was particularly funny to me because they chose a quote by famous journalist, famous American journalist, Dan Rather. Now, for those of you at home who may not know, fake news was invented by Dan Rather. He <laughs> should be honored as the granddaddy of fake news when he published um, some documents about George Bush's time in the Texas National Guard that actually ended up to be complete and total fakes. But he just wanted it to be true so badly. So that's the secans. As we get a little further into the building, you can see it's really big, really industrial. Um, it's very dark and dingy in there, and that's why I sort of kind of like working outside. There are coffee bars everywhere. There uh, are snacks everywhere. The lunch spread was pretty big. The, the building is really quite immense. Um, as Ezra tweeted out earlier um, this afternoon, it looks like there's about a thousand delegates here and 500 staff, 900 staff. One thing I also noticed on my way in and my way out was just the level of security here. Um, they searched our bags on the way in. We had to go through metal detectors. And on the way out, they asked us to remove our ID tags. We didn't really give a reason why Ezra didn't comply because he doesn't comply <laughs> with people telling him what to do. Well, everybody, that's the wrap up for the first day here. I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek inside the steel barriers um, of what's going on inside this conference. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. From across the street at the Defend Media Freedom Conference here in London, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. Uh, my boss, Ezra Levant, and I are bringing you all the news that nobody else is reporting from this conference full of journalists. Now, to help fund our trip here, you can do that at mediafreedomconference.com. And to see all of our coverage, coverage you won't see anywhere else, go to mediafreedomconference.com.